end-to-end -end stuff. What do you think were the deciding factors? That brought about the result, the yeah. draw. Um, I, I felt that we were ill-disciplined at the breakdown, but I was just told we only had five penalties, so it's not like we were constantly infringing, but they were momentous in terms of the shifts in momentum. Um, that and a little bit soft down the left-hand side of our defence, which just allowed them some half breaks, uh, and ultimately, you know, a try down there. Um, however, you know, that's all the doom and gloom because I couldn't be prouder with their intent and the effort of the lads to come from behind and then to keep coming back, to keep scrapping. And you've got those things at the core of your of your team mentality, which we seem to have over the last four or five weeks, and you're in a good spot, so I still feel we're in a good spot. And uh, just a quick note on the Dupree's twins, you were both awesome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what can you say about them? Just happy the Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have a great effort, bigger contrast in terms of two halves, I mean, what was the difference between them, or was it just mistakes continued in that second half? Because obviously some tries to score from turnovers as well, I mean, what was the difference between the two halves? Was there a contrast? I thought there was a level of intensity that was throughout that game. I didn't think it dipped at all, you know. Um, yeah, it was 87 at half time and 27 all at full time, so yeah. the scoreline would suggest that it's, it, it was pretty similar. And there was chances both in the first half, wasn't there, from both teams, which weren't uh, taken. Um, but in the second half there were, so I just think it was a, a case of better execution in that second half that, that blew the scoreline to what it was. What was your view on the um, plus the Stokes yellow card was uh, uh, for the trip? Should it be a penalty trial? Oh, you're not allowed, are you, to, to, to judge a referee's decisions um, on another... You've got to ask yourself, is that flanker catching Faf? And if he wasn't, then you have to remove the player that committed the offence and assume he wasn't there, so that, that the uh, Stokes wasn't there, didn't trip him, is he scoring? And I would back Faf to, to beat that flanker with three metres to the trial line, knowing how quick he is. But over you, you're still pretty happy with... I'm pretty buoyant, yeah, I'm pretty buoyant because of the lads, because we asked for work, we asked for physicality, we, we knew they were a tough team and I think on another day, Another day we could have won it, but then another day they could have. I'm happy. I'm happy with with their effort and their intensity. Yeah, because yeah. obviously a lot of people won't be happy with you all, but you just feel like as, as a team, as a group, you just go in the right, in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah, and so we continue the momentum that we've, we're have building and we continue to work hard and we've got three days off now to, to heal our wounds and have a drink, and we will. We'll enjoy ourselves and uh, get back on it for Exeter next week. So it's a crucial end with the, you know, the Paddy Jackson missed that penalty for one of you that have had a different take on, on, on your, you know? No. Not definitely not. I don't want to make it easy to say now, innit? Because he missed it. <laughs> um, but I, I'd like to think, I'd hope to think that I would still be proud of their effort, their intensity. And just a word as well on Maddox, Maddox to like Yeah. You know, what have you heard back from? Have you heard back from England? I mean, what, what's, do you know what the situation is there? With, with, with it's a very low-grade 1A, partial tear. That's all the uh, physio speak, uh, which means he shouldn't be out for more than a couple of weeks. Um, the intensity in England training is is higher as it should be for international games, and he's ob it's obviously a step too far too soon for him. Yeah. yeah. Too frustrated that he got cut off, or is it just? They were always going to bring him into the squad. I think they were always going to bring him into the squad. We were pushing for it. We want him to play for England. We want all our lads to play at the highest level they can. Um, and I think that's what everyone... I've asked, been asked a few questions on that. Are you frustrated? How do you feel? Is it a pattern? And we've got to understand that everyone wants him to play for England. England do, we do, and he does. So none of this is what's happened. It's intentional. So there's no good pointing fingers. It's happened. We learn to manage him better. And, we will, I think, moving forward.